I mean, obviously the biggest red flag to me is the parents telling the kids not to say anything. To me, that just screams that someone knows something more than they are saying. Some of my content has mention of extreme violence, sexual assault, and or other triggering content. Discretion is advised. Hi guys, welcome. I am Sarah and I am your true crime best friend. Today we are continuing our talk on Kylie Rodney. Now, first I want to say that I heard you, I heard your concerns, and I equally was not proud of the last video. Um, it was just an overview. It was just me getting the information that was urgent out at the time. I do talk a little bit about rumors in this video and separating the rumors from truth because there has been a lot of talk and a lot of talk has led to a wishy-washy investigation. So if you have not seen just my quick overview on Kylie Rodney, um, please do that or please educate yourself on the case. Um, this started weeks ago. It is still an open investigation. There, It's active right now. And there's a lot going on and there's a lot to discuss. First, I want to touch upon the timeline and then we will get to some of the strange red flags in this case, as well as some rumors that are going on right now. So let's talk about the timeline in this Kylie case. August 5th, Kylie is seen on surveillance. Um, she is in a black tank top bodysuit as well as a like green Dickies pants. Um, she is seen at this local business on her way to this campground party. Now, this is where the party begins. Um, it is a end of summer big party out in a campground. Um, it is a Prosser family campground in Tahoe National Park. About 300 people were in attendance um, at this party. There was a ton of teenagers and then also some adults. Now, there is a lot of reports going around. There was a lot of alcohol and drugs served and partaked in in this party. There was a lot of alcohol. There was a lot of drugs. There was heavy, hard, explicit drugs, cocaine, mushrooms. Um, these are just some of what is mentioned to be at this party. Kylie texts her mother around 11.30 p.m. saying that she is planning on leaving the campground around 12.15. Her phone then turns off around 12.33 a.m. that morning. Police make sure that they do reiterate that this phone is turned off near the campground. Um, and she only had a 10 mile drive home. Kylie doesn't make it home, doesn't make it to a hike in the morning with her friends, so she is reported missing the next morning. <sighs> so, like I said, there is a lot of back and forth. There is a lot of online presence with this case. This case blew up. Um, and a lot of it has to do with rumors circulating. Now, what I'm going to try to do for you is separate some of the rumors from the truth. The big thing in this case is that you have all of these teenagers reporting, talking, trying to figure out what's happening, um, involving themselves in the investigation, and it's becoming messy. At the forefront, you have her boyfriend, or her ex-boyfriend named Jagger. Then you have a friend named Sammy. Uh, these two are at the forefront. They've been on the news a lot talking and people are in turn talking about them. 
Jagger himself did post a um, thing saying that he is filtering tips for the police. The police say this is not true um, and that this never happened or that they didn't okay that. So again, I'm going to say this and reiterate this many times. If you have any information, please go to the FBI or to the police. Do not go to the friends. Um, that was not correct and they are investigating into that. That to me is a huge weird thing. I don't know why he said that. I don't know if he's just a teenager that doesn't know what he's doing, but definitely do not have him filter anything for the police. It needs to go straight to the police. There was this strange interview that um, I believe Jagger and then a friend did with Fox News, where they took them to Reno and said that they were searching for her here, um, which is very strange, just to begin with. And then in this, they said that they're going to find her. Jagger specifically said uh, that him and two or three friends are going to find her and find her alive. I don't know where that came from. It's oddly specific. The interview is very strange and that came out and it was very, very odd. But first, if you watched this far into the video, please consider subscribing um, so that I can keep creating content. Thank you. Now let's get back to the story. And now there's been a lot of talk about how these teenagers are not behaving the way that uh, people want them to or people expect them to and I've talked about this many times that you don't always you don't know a reaction someone's going to have but the specific things that Jagger says there's two or three people going to find her and we're gonna find her alive is very strange I'm not accusing anybody. I'm just saying that that is a weird, weird thing to say. Before filming this video, I did see where Jagger had posted that he's getting a lot of hate online, that people are threatening his life, telling people that he, you know, is guilty of this crime. Please don't do that. These are teenagers at the end of the day. Um, they are young adults trying to navigate everything and we don't know if they are guilty. We need to back off a little bit from putting them in the spotlight as much. Yes, the behavior is weird, but something is going to come out. Someone is going to mess up. Someone is going to say something or we're going to find her and then we're going to have the answers that we need to have. A lot of people are saying that they're very much inserting themselves into the investigation. Um, I do think that that is true. They are really putting themselves at the forefront of this. Um, but it could just be because they want to find her. I really don't know which it is. There's also some weird relationship drama going on. Like I said, could be something, could not. Uh, between Jagger, Sammy, and Kylie. I don't know if this is like a, a love triangle, a she dated him and she dated him and then all of this stuff. I don't know, but there's some strange things going on there as well. But we just don't know. And to say that all of this is fact would be false. So maybe they are looking for their little 10 minutes of fame. Um, if they are, that's really sad. Um, if this is somewhat of a elaborate scheme, which if she's alive somewhere and this is all a ruse, um, that's planned out very, very well. Um, but we just don't know. There's a lot of theories in this case. There's a lot of stuff that we have no idea. So I think we just need to kind of back off these teenagers and kind of let themselves either 
back away to or get themselves in more trouble. So there's a few details that are just strange in this case. Uh, the FBI is involved and there's a huge search. I really wish that police and the FBI and everything shows up for every case like they're doing with Kylie. Um, I just hope that we remember this when everyone else goes missing that needs this manpower. Um, but I, I do think that they are close to finding some kind of answers. She almost didn't go to the party um, and she wasn't there long. So I don't really know if there's a reason for that, but it did strike me as a little bit odd. Uh, there is not a lot of pictures and videos from this party. Um, a lot of people are saying it's because they use Snap, which if you don't know what Snapchat is, those Snapchats go away after 24 hours or however long. Um, you can't even replay a video um, after it's viewed. Um, so that could be the reason that we're not getting a lot of resources out but there's just not a lot to go on about this party. There has been a few pictures come out. It just looks like a typical party, um, but we just don't know. Kylie was in possession of a black sweatshirt that said, you don't wanna be forgotten, you just want to disappear. That's just a very eerie detail in this case um, that the news is pointing out, which I think is very interesting that she had that in her possession. Um, and also no one saw her leave the party. No one saw her car leave. No one saw her leave. Very, very strange stuff going on. I wanna discuss some of the rumors in this case because there's a lot circulating that is false information. One of them is that that black tank top was found. It was not. I had heard that it was. Um, there's a lot going on with this, but that is a rumor. Also, there was a scanner report that they might have found Kylie and her car. That is also false information, and that is confirmed by the police. So those two things, don't get hung up on those. Those are completely false. So what did happen to Kylie? What are some theories of what is going on? And is there anything we can do? Of course, there's that theory that she is in the water, that she drove home intoxicated, went off in the water, and that someone's going to find her. I have heard a lot of this, um, and the days are just ticking by without us finding her. And that's a huge red flag to me that she's not in the water because they have done such extensive searching of the water around and they have found nothing. And that leads me to believe that there's a big chance that she's not in there. Police say that they have a point where she was last seen and they are expanding out from that point. Now, the police said something that really, really caught my attention. They said, at this point, we believe someone knows or saw her and is not coming forward. This is huge. This is a huge piece of information. I think that they are on to something. And there is in a press conference, the police talked about how grown-ups in the area are telling the teenagers not to come forward with certain information. This may be because they think that the teen is going to get in trouble for illicit drugs or that whoever is dealing is going to get in trouble. This could be a grown-up and so whatever is happening here, they're frightened and that they are telling them not to go to the police. If this is true, this is absolutely terrible. The cops have said over and over and over again, we are not wanting to prosecute anything other than just finding Kylie. They're not interested in the drugs. They are interested in finding her. So, 
if these grown-ups are telling these teenagers or these teenagers know and they're not coming forward that is really messing with the investigation into Kylie's disappearance. I mean, there is a lot online where people are analyzing and going very into much detail and thinking that these kids are in this big conspiracy um, that either she overdosed or they killed her on purpose or she was led there um, to be killed there's a lot um, that makes sense about this stuff. But at the same time, these are teenagers. I don't know if they're sophisticated enough to plan out that and have gotten away with it for so long. But you just never know. Um, it's just a very, very strange case. There's a lot of red flags and I'm very interested to see what comes of the next couple of weeks in this investigation. One of the interesting things that in the press conference they talked about was making sure you're on the lookout for this jewelry that she was wearing. It feels very pointed at something because they're not like be on the lookout for this girl or be able to look out for this car, which they are saying that, but they really had emphasis on this jewelry. And that's just small thing to be concerned with. So that's a very strange part of this case. Um, but they are saying to look out for the jewelry that she was wearing. Very odd. Um, there's a lot to this case, guys. There's a lot to what's happening. There's what people say, what people think, and the truth. And I just, I don't want to get mixed up in being, like, putting out false information or anything like that. But I also want to tell you guys what's happening and giving you the most information I can. So it's a very hard place to be in. Um, please discuss in the comments below, um, your theories, your questions, your concerns, please let me know. There is not an excuse for bad content, and I understand that. Um, you guys called me out, and I appreciate it. Um, but I'm also human, and I also do this for me and for these victims. Um, but thank you for saying what you really feel. Um, I will probably do updates, but I'm not gonna do like really super in depth. Um, I'm gonna leave that to the other people who are doing an amazing job at it. Um, but I will probably do updates if something is found that's big. But until next time, <laughs> I will see you guys. Um, please, if you have any, any information about Kylie, do the right thing here and come forward and tell someone, please, because there's a girl's life on the line. So I will leave that number below. Um, yes, keep sharing about Kylie and we'll see what we can do about this. All right, I'll see you guys next time. I wish Kylie and her family well. Hi guys, I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like any of the content for Code 187, please click that subscribe button, that like button, that share button. Help us out, help us grow. Um, you can find us on your favorite podcast platforms. Um, yeah, check us out on there. Give us some ratings. Um, tell us what you think. We're also across every social media on Code187. So we're on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I think that's it. Um, and of course, YouTube. So please, please, please subscribe um, if you like our content and spread the word. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.